Now it's time to attach the face panels part I to the bed frame. Lay the face panels flat on the floor. Pay close attention to the finished edge of the face panels. Note the twin size bed only has one face panel. Make sure the side finished edges are facing out and the finished footer end of the face panels are facing the same direction. If you are building a queen size or a double size Murphy bed, make sure the two face panels are tightly pushed together and there is no gap between them. They should also be flush at the footer end. Now measure and mark 3 quarter inch along the finished footer end of the face panels. This measurement is important because this end of the face panels will make contact with the cabinet top stopper component when the bed is complete. You may use a piece of 3 quarter inch scrap wood to double check your measurements. Measure and mark half inch along the outer finished edges of the face panels. This is the portion of the face panels that will stick out of the bed frame. There will be half inch on each side of the completed bed frame. You may use a drywall framing square or a long ruler to help you finish marking the face panels where you place the initial pencil marks. For this step, use construction adhesive such as PL Premium, which you can purchase from your local hardware store. Run a bead of construction adhesive along the frame struts and frame sides. Gluing the bed frame to the face panels will make your bed frame more solid and provide better support. Double check to make sure your face panels are tightly pushed together and there is no gap between them. Now slowly drop the bed frame onto the face panels. You may use a helper to help you with this step. Make sure you drop the bed frame within the pencil lines on the face panels. However, it is okay if the bed frame is slightly inside the pencil lines. Use one and a quarter inch wood screws and drive one screw into the bed frame on the footer end. It is important you follow the proper sequence as this will ensure that your bed frame is squarely placed on the face panels. Drive the screws in the proper sequence as shown in the diagram in section 9 in the construction guide. If you are building a twin or a single size bed, refer to the sequence shown in the section 9 as well. Note that if you are building your Murphy bed out of particle board, you will be using half inch thick material for the face panels. This will require you to use 1 inch long screws to attach the bed frame to the face panels. You may want to push down on the bed frame when driving the screws to make sure the two parts will make good contact. Due to the nature of wood, you may have to make small adjustments on the bed frame as you screw the bed frame to the face panels. Make the necessary adjustments at the header end of the bed frame. Make sure the bed frame is within the pencil lines on both sides of the face panels. Drive one and a quarter inch wood screw in the corner of the bed frame. Do the same for the other side. Make sure the face panels are tightly pushed together before you drive the screw.
Grab the remaining screws every 9 to 10 inches to secure the bed frame to the face panels. The face panel should be flush with the header end of the bed frame, however they may extend beyond the bed frame up to one eighth of an inch. This end of the bed frame will not be visible as it will be facing the wall or facing the floor when the bed is closed. The face panel should not extend more than one eighth of an inch beyond the bed frame header part D because the face panels may rub on the optional kick panel if you decide to install one. Why not download your free copy of our step-by-step -step Murphy Bed Construction Guide by clicking on the link below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like these.